he, my son loves him and he's a superhero that I can actually go, this is awesome. But before I was just like, well, superheroes seem to be quite straightforward and symbolic and cool, but I don't think I'm cool enough to be one because I've just got like, I've got an inside voice and I'm a bit wonky. Do you know what I mean? But Venom and Eddie, like, well, that's perfect, isn't it? Because, you know, Eddie's got an inside voice that's literally an alien. And I was like, well, that's perfect. Do you know what I mean? Because then I can, I can play that without, well, you know, that's kind of how I lived before I started. It's some aspect is just manifesting a symbolic creature on screen and we get to play with all the all the assets that a company has, you know. No. Why would we do that? Tom, you were pretty bummed that they had taken out some of your uh, favorite scenes from no, the movie. No, listen, I've got to correct that. It's an okay. actor speaking, right? You've got to know that like, I may or may not have improvised about seven or eight, maybe 10 days worth of footage that I want in that movie. Could I watch a seven hour movie of my acting? Yeah, <laughs> do you know what I mean? But that's not what it's about, is it? Do you know what I mean? And like I have, you know, as an executive producer, I knew anyway the top what the story was about and that's not what it was. I took the character and went out on the lilo very far to see and maybe got lost in the weeds of it. Do you know what I mean? But I enjoyed that, do you know what I mean? But that doesn't make the movie that we've made. Do you, do you know what I'm saying? So I think I've been misconstrued there. Point is, everything that I wanted to make is in that movie. More, actually, and it's awesome and I love it.